Hello, my name is Xander. Welcome back to another Django RM tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to focus on two questions or two common questions that we've received in the community over the last couple of weeks. So we have two questions that we're going to answer in this tutorial. How do I get data from an Excel file into my database table? And then secondly, how can I insert data from a fixture into multiple tables? So I've gone ahead and created a very simple example here with two apps. So this is a, data, a Django project. I've got two apps here, one called book, one called user. You can see that in my model here, I've got a number of different fields for my class book, my table book. And then the user app here has a model here, a simple model called details with just name and age. So I've gone ahead and migrated this already. So now I'm going to need some data for my tables. So now I need to create some data. So I'm going to take the field names here in this model. I'm going to now go into Excel, put them up the top here, and I'm going to go ahead and add some data. Now you may already have a data set, so you can obviously skip this set and um, this stage, sorry. So just make sure that these field names here correspond to your field field names in your table. Otherwise, of course, this isn't going to work. In addition to that, if you are utilizing integers or um, different data types in your model, of course, just make sure that they match up. Again, this isn't going to work. Now, the date field here, it's going to be expecting year, um, month, day. So just make sure that you've converted that across. So right click here. Uh, format cells, just make sure you've got the, um, sorry, the year, um, month, day in that format. And that just aids a smooth integration into your database. Right. So now the data is set. So now we can go ahead and save it as a CSV file. So in Excel, just go ahead and save as, and here you're going to select a CSV. So you're going to save this file as a CSV file. So go ahead and do that. So in order for Django to take our file or data file or fixture, if you like, and then to put it into our database, in order for Django to be able to do that, we need to make sure that our data file or our data is converted and formatted into something that Django understands. So here you can see that um, we can create something as a fixture. This is what we're building a fixture which is a set of data we want to put into our database. Here you can see that we're going to need it in JSON, XML or YAML format. So we're going to need to convert our CSV file. We're going to convert it into JSON first. Right. In addition to that, notice the format of a fixture. So you can see here we've got um, our data. Now, in addition to that, we need to identify our primary key and also our model. So we need to go back first to our data. And we just need to make sure that the format is similar to this. Now we're going to add the field a bit later. So let's not worry about this fields here, but we just need to make sure that we have a primary key set if we're using primary keys. And then in addition to that, we need to define the model that we're going to use. So back in our data here, what I've done, if I just zoom in here, we can see that I've added a new field at the start here. So right click insert, and you can see what I've done with this data. I've added a new key here of model and then the, the table that I want to insert this data into. So it's the app name first dot and then the table name or lowercase. So that's going to correspond to my uh, app here book and then my model name book. Right. So next up, what we're going to do is in each of our apps here, the book and the user, we're going to create a new file or folder, sorry, called fixtures. So this is where Django is going to look for our fixtures, the data that we're preparing to insert into the database. So we're going to put that in each of our projects here. Now inside of here, I've already gone ahead and placed our CSV file that we created earlier. So you don't have to put the file inside of the fixture folder here. It just makes my life easier at this point. OK, so now this file is set here in this folder. This is my project folder, the fixtures here. Uh, let's go ahead now and open up PowerShell. So what we're going to do here, I'm in Windows. Apologies if you're not using Windows. Um, I'm going to now convert this into JSON. So I can do that um, in many different ways, but I just wanted to show you utilizing PowerShell. 
So go ahead, go to start, type in PowerShell, open up PowerShell, here we go. Right, so first of all, what we're going to need to do is open up the folder. So you saw earlier, I've copied this file location. I've typed in CD and pasted that in, and that takes me to the folder. So when I type in LS, you can see I've got my books.csv. So we're going to use PowerShell to convert this CSV file into a JSON file. So here we're going to use two commands. First of all, we're going to convert it into JSON, and we're going to put it into this uh, in this variable here. So let's just call this, for example, var variable. OK, and then we're going to take that data from that variable, and we're going to save it as mydata.json. So I'm just going to copy this in. There we go. So that's now converted it in and saving it into that variable there. So I can now go ahead and just save it from the variable. And if I type in ls again, you can now see I've got a new file here called mydata.json. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to open this up because I do have it. Notepad++, you can open up in whatever you like. Uh, so you can now see that we've got our data prepared in JSON format. Now, if we go back to the example here of fixtures, we can see that this requires us now to change our data and wrap it up here in fields. So we need to add this now. So we can just do this manually. So let's just go ahead and do that. So what I want to do is just copy this here. Now, I'm going to use um, just uh, Control F here just to replace. So whatever tool you're using, IDE or whatever you're using, just uh, find and replace. So what I'm going to do here after ID, um, just before title. So I'm just going to take, uh, for example, title. Now it's going to be the same on every single um, entry here, title. And I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to replace it with fields. And then I'm going to put title, title after that. So that's just basically going to put fields before title. So if I replace all, you can now see I've got fields before. Now I want to add a new curly bracer just before this. So I'm going to find that and going to convert it to that. So replace all, and there we go. So I can now save that. And now my data is prepared as a fixture, ready to go into my database. OK, so as I love to tell you, I do have the MySQL, SQLite, sorry, extension installed. That gives me access to my table here. So mm, the SQLite table here, I can right click on it, open database and then go ahead and have a look at the book. So you can see I already have some data here. So let's just go ahead and delete everything inside of this table first. So go ahead into the shell. Then let's go ahead and just access the table. So from, in this case, it's going to be from book. So from book.models import, uh, I think it's book. Let's take a look. Book, there we go. OK, so now we can go ahead and delete everything. So to do that, we just need to select the database. So that's going to be book.objects and then dot all and then dot delete. OK, right. So let's just go ahead and refresh our table. Right click, show table show table. Here we go. And there we go. So we've deleted all the data in our table. OK, so now we can go ahead and just make sure. So let's just uh, get this down. So let's make sure that in our app, we've got a folder called fixtures. Inside of fixtures, we've got our JSON fixture now prepared. So going back to the Django documentation, we can see that to load this up, we're going to need to call load data and then the fixture name. So it tells us here that Django is going to look in all the projects for a folder called fixtures. So it's going to look for all of those folders. And inside of that, we're going to tell it to look for a file called mydata.json. So let's go ahead and do this. So load data, and then our file is called mydata.json. And there we go. So we have a problem, which is great. So let's go ahead. There's probably two common problems that you're going to receive here. Now, this one is a lot easier to resolve. So because if you just read back from the top here, 
it tells you near the top, um, you can see that it says here, infield key error. So this is one of the common problems that you're going to receive. So this is when you've created your data set here and you've accidentally um, called one of these keys incorrectly. So what I've done is I've incor incorrectly um, spelt language. So it should be U, not a U. So it tells me here in the in the output here exactly what the problem is. So let's just go ahead there. It says book has no field name language code. All right, so what I can now do is just go into my data. Uh, let's just change and swap this over. I'll just do this manually. Okay, so I've just done that manually. I can do that in the Excel file as well, of course, and just go through that process again if I wanted to. But that just shows you what an error looks like. Uh, just reading through that. So let's go ahead now and load the data again. And now we've got another problem. So this time you can see that what I mentioned before, remember that the format of the date needs to be year, month, and day. So for some reason, it actually didn't pick it up properly because I did change it in Excel. I don't think I probably saved it correctly. So we need to make sure that that is converted. Again, so let's try this again with the new data format. And there we go. So we're now in told that Django has now installed, if you like, six objects. It's created six new objects. It says from two fixtures because I've already got another fixture in place and I'll show that in a second. But you can see here, um, if I now go back and refresh the database, if I go into my books, show table, and you can now see I've inserted that data into the database. So if you're not familiar with Django, when you create a model, notice that we don't have a field called ID. So that may be something that you'll be questioning this tutorial about. So Django automatically adds an ID field. So if you look in the database here, you can see we've got an ID field. This is a primary key. Um, auto incrementing. You can see that in our data, we defined that manually. Um, here on the left hand side, we defined that manually. Now you can see that these numbers don't match what was in the database. I've just been playing around with the data. That's all. So yours probably says one to five or whatever you've done for your data. Right. So you can clearly see that's been entered. Now, why I um, showed you or why I went ahead um, and showed you this down here it says installed six objects from two fixtures so i've already gone through the same process i've just shown you for user so in fixtures i've got um, some data that i've set up this is my json file okay so i've already gone ahead and done that now notice when i ran load data i've got my in this fixture here in the users i've called this the same name as the file I'm utilizing in books. So Django is going to look for all folders where the file is called mydata.json and it's going to install that data into a database. To answer the second question from the presentation, how do I insert data from fixtures into multiple tables? There we go. So we don't need to do anything special here. All we need to do is just make sure our data is named the same, for example, and then ready and prepared to fit into the database. So you can see here we've got model, user details. So that's the model for this app here, ID and then fields again. So the setup is the same here as we did with the books model. Okay, and there we have it. So that was obviously quite small scale there, but hopefully you get the idea. There isn't too much more to this now. You're simply going to look at your project, look at the fields, open up an Excel file maybe, add some data, go through that process of preparing it ready, put it into a fixture folder, and then you're good to go. So this now means, of course, that you can load your data at any point. You can share your project with other people. They can load your data or potentially you have multiple types or multiple data um, ready for your tables that you want to insert. Now, obviously, this is just part of a, a bigger process, potentially. So if you have got multiple tables with different dependencies, etc., this isn't going to go potentially as smoothly as this kind of smaller scale, of course. But hopefully this gives you a good starting point if you want to, first of all, take some data from either a CSV file or from an Excel file and convert it into fixtures ready to be inserted into your database. So I do hope this was useful. This is by no means the only way of doing this. 
I simply wanted to answer some of the questions that the community provided. Thank you very much for those questions. And hopefully I'll see you in another tutorial. Thank you very much.